I have returned the unknown. The uh, reason why I didn't post yesterday is because I wasn't by myself at work. Um, so it was a little hard to do it that way. So anyway, today we're on 34. The Diana in this incident. Now Diana, the daughter of Leah, whom she had boarded Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Shikam, 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 she, Shikam, the son of Harm, the Hevtite, prince of the country, saw her. He took her and laid with her and violated her. His soul was strongly attached to Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and he loved the young woman and spoke kindly to the young woman. So Shikam spoke to his father Hamor Ham yeah Hamor saying get me this young woman as a wife Jacob heard that he had defiled Dana his daughter now his sons were with his livestock in the field so Jacob held his peace until they came the Hamor the father of Shechem went out to Jacob to speak with him and the sons of Jacob came in from the field when they heard it and the men were grieved and very angry because he had done a disgraceful thing in Israel by laying with Jacob's daughter. A thing which ought not to be done. But Hamar spoke with him saying, The soul of my son Shechem longs for your daughter. Please give her to him as a wife and make marriage with us. Give your daughters to us and take our daughters as yourselves. So you shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade in it, and acquire possessions for yourselves in it. And Shechem said to, said to her father and her brothers, Let me find favor in your eyes. Whatever you say to me, I will give. Ask me ever so much dowry and gift. And I will give according to you to say me, but give me the young woman as a wife. But the sons of Jacob answered Shechem and Hom, his father, and spoke deceitfully, because he had defiled Dana, their sister. And they said to them, We cannot do this thing, to give our sister to one who is uncircumcised, for that would be a reproach to us. But on this condition we will consider consent to you, if you will become as we are. If every male of you is circumcised, then we will give our daughters to you, and we will make, take your daughters to us, and we will dwell with you, and we will become one people. But if you do not heed us and be, be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and be gone. And their words please Haram and Shechem, Haram's son. So the young men did not delay in doing the thing because he had delighted in Jacob's daughter. He was more honorable than all the household of his father. And Haram and Shechem, his son, came to the gate of the city and spoke with the men of their city, saying, These men are at peace with us. Therefore, let them dwell in the land and trade in it. For indeed, the land is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us as wives, and let us give our daughters. Only on the condition will the men consent to dwell with us, to be one people. If every male among us is circumcised, as they are custom, uh, circumcised, will not their livestock, their property, and every animal of theirs be ours? Only let us consent to them, and they will dwell with us. And all who went out of the gate of the city, he did harm and Shechem his son. Every male was circumcised, and all who went out of the gate of the city. Now it came to pass on the third day, when they were in the were in pain, that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dana's brothers, each took his sword and came boldly upon the city and killed all the males. And they killed Haram and Shechem his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dana from Shechem's house and went out. 
The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and plundered the city because their sister had been defiled. They took their sheep, their oxen, and their donkeys, what was in the city and what was in the field, and all their wealth, all their little ones and their wives, and took them captive, and plundered even all that was in the houses. Then Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have troubled me by making me anxious among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Pesitites. Since I am few in number, they will gather themselves together against me and kill me. I shall be destroyed, and my household and I. But they said, Should we treat our sister as a harlot? Okay. Anyway, that was 34, the Danis and the fact that she was defiled by this man. And, but the sons of Jacob do have a point, Le uh, Levi and Simeon. Um, they didn't want their sister to become a harlot. Uh, they thought what they did was good um, by doing what what they what they did. I mean, they shouldn't have done by deceitful, being deceitful to Shechem Harem. Um, but again, Jacob was like uh, trouble and anxiety. Um, it's like, Jacob, come on. You know, if you feel this way, you need to pray to God and say, please let not, don't let Darren be trouble. Come to me because of the Canaanites and Pesites. Um But again, he, you know, he wasn't happy with Simeon and Levi for what they did. But they were protecting their sister too at the same time. So, I mean, I can bend those for them protecting their sister like that. Um, I don't know if the way they went was the right way to go to kill the everybody in the village and that town. I honestly have no idea um, because it doesn't say here anything about uh, God telling them to do this. So it's this area is a little bit gray. And I don't know for sure. But anyway, that's my two cents about it, man. I disagree with the whole fact that Shechem defiled Dana. He shouldn't have done that. Um, the problem is there's a lot of guys out there that figure, oh, yeah, these gals are very beautiful. But then they go and do this garbage because... You know, maybe the gal made Dinah said, no, I don't want anything to do with you. And he does, he have no idea because it doesn't explain. All says, all says Dana was uh, defiled and stuff by Shechem. That's all says. Now, I don't know if uh, for sure an area... If she wanted to be violated and laid with him, I have no idea. Um, so, they have no idea about that because it doesn't talk about how she reacted to all this stuff happening. So, I have no idea. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead pray. Dear Holy Father, Father, help this channel to help there to be more people coming to watch my channel to receive your message and to and receive Jesus in their heart, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.